So in this video, we're going to be talking about a concept known as the multiplier. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about the expenditure multiplier in macroeconomics. So what is the expenditure multiplier? Well, it is basically the change in output on GDP due to a change in autonomous spending. Now, change here refers to how many times is Y going to change, all right? And autonomous spending over here refers to the spending that is not influenced by the income level at all. I think you already know what is autonomous spending from the previous videos, right? So some examples of autonomous spending could be um, C0, um, I0 minus I1R, which is the investment portion, government spending, uh, autonomous exports as well as um, imports, okay? So these are examples of autonomous spending. So what the expenditure multiplier is telling us is this. For every $1 change in autonomous spending, by how many times does income change? To express this on a mathematical form, what it would be is income is equals to the autonomous expenditure multiplied by a multiplier, right? That's why it's called a multiplier. Okay, so A bar over here actually refers to autonomous expenditure. Okay, so... In other words, to calculate your expenditure multiplier, you simply have to differentiate y with respect to autonomous multiplier, right? And since the multiplier has a power of 1, so when you differentiate y with respect to a bar, you simply get the multiplier. Okay, so that is how you calculate the multiplier. So let's go into detail, um, and I'm talking about the mathematics part, on how we're going to calculate the multiplier. So we're going to apply four very simple steps to this. Okay, the first step, which I hope you should be really good at, is to write down the AE equation. Okay, write down the aggregate expenditure equation. So at equilibrium, AE equals to Y, which is also equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Okay, so we expand those according to the assumptions that we're going to make about the economy. So the second step will be to bring all the Y terms to the left-hand side of the equation. So basically, it's everything that has got y part of it. So for example, c1 times y. Okay, so that is the left-hand side of the equation. Uh, we want to put all the y-related items on the left-hand side. Okay, now the third step is to group all the right-hand side figures, um, the remaining right-hand side figures, into a bar. Okay, so a bar is your autonomous expenditure. It is things like c naught taxes, as well as uh, your government spending. So the right-hand side will be known as a bar. Okay, now the last step is to simply make y the subject of the entire equation. Okay, so what that means is that you bring everything else to the right hand side so that y becomes a subject. And what you realize is that this dot dot dots over here will be the multiplier. Okay, so that, that's like a quick summary of how you can actually um, derive the multiplier using your A equation. Okay, so this is just a quick summary and quick four steps. Um, now, just let me use two examples to show you um, how this is going to work in action. Okay, so we've got two examples. Um, we've got economy A and economy B. Let's assume that both economies are closed and there is a government in both economies. Now, the only difference is that economy A is going to have a lump sum tax, right? And economy B is going to have a proportional tax. So let's start with economy A first. So the first step, of course, is to write down your AE equation as such, right? So this is my AE equation. Standard one with lump sum tax, okay, and this is actually the end of step one. So step number two is to bring all the y items onto the left hand side of this equation. So if I expand that bracket of c1 multiplied by y minus t, I notice that c1y has got has got y in it, right? So I'm going to bring that to the left hand side, and that's the end of step two. Okay, there's only one y item in this equation. So step three will be to group all the right hand side stuff into a bar, and as you can see over here. I think this is probably the easiest part. Okay, and step four, I need to make y the subject. So I'm going to factorize y out of the left-hand side, and I'm going to divide both sides by 1 minus c1. So that is the end of step four, and you'll notice that I actually already have the multiplier, which is over here. Okay, so this bunch of terms over here in front of a bar is known as the multiplier. All right, we've seen this when we differentiated the um, y with respect to a bar. Okay, you simply get um, the thing that is in front of your autonomous expenditure, okay? And that is 1 over 1 minus C1. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products.
specific to your needs, simple to understand and captivating so that you can learn effectively while saving time, realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials and exam solutions in the form of videos which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.